Welcome to day four. I did a cute little quick funnel again. These are not real. These are demo funnels. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna take these kind of concepts and what I'm talking about in these videos and what I'm doing in these funnels and expand on them 10 times better. But these are just quick things to show you the concepts that we're looking for and what I would build into a funnel for dog trainers. So this is the dog trainer uh, dog training magician. I just came up with this. I thought it was cute. Make your dog's bad behavior disappear faster than you can count to three. We got some testimonials. We got our kind of our mission statement, what we're trying to do, what we offer, off-leash training, puppy focus, daily life skills, energy burning, and then some information about the owner of the company. But what I want to show you today is not so much the funnel as it is cute and it is nice to look at, but I want to show you the magic, see what I did there, the magic behind the funnel. Okay, so if you've never seen this, don't worry, I'm going to break down each step. I don't want this to be complicated. I want it to be educational and informative. If you're thinking about doing a funnel or you've never heard of a funnel or you have some idea of a funnel, this is going to make it very simple for you to understand if you are a dog training business owner. I love this software. It is a paid software so you can't there is a free version but it's just not as good and so if you want to see me break down more of these types of maps let me know i have no problem going through this software and showing you everything that it can do but without further ado let's jump into an application funnel and what it looks like uh, as someone goes through it so these three pages right here right here and right here this is what you're getting this is what i would build out for you right the opt-in page is kind of what you just saw then there's the application page where they fill out all the questions that you have for them to make sure that they're the right fit for your service. And then the thank you page gives them further instructions. In this case, it's telling them to get on the phone with you, either to schedule a call with you or check their inbox for the calendar link, or you can just have a straight up calendar link there, or they can just call you directly right then and there. And then in that case, you do a sales presentation, which is uh, demonstrated here by a sales page and then an order form where they actually purchase your service your offer so in this case what I want to show you is what happens and the power of the application funnel so when we start off with an application funnel usually we have low conversion rates that means for every hundred person uh, hundred people that end up on a page it might be five people end up opting in what happens over time is we get it boosted and we can optimize it because we're measuring everything. It's very mathematical. We don't have to get crazy about that. The point is to keep the funnel the same until it's perfect. Then and only then would you start putting money into driving traffic. So I want to show you what happens here if, let's say you did a YouTube channel and you got 200 visitors a month. Okay, I'm going to connect it right here. 200 visitors end up on that application page that I just showed you for the dog training magician. If that page converted at 5%, 100 people show up, 5 people, and then out of those 5 people, only 50% end up filling out the actual application, and out of that, only 75% meet with you, and you had a $1,000 offer, $1,000 training service, private coaching program, thing like that, if we run the numbers through here, you'll end the month with just under $1,000. Right? If you have to pay for certain things, the numbers are going to be skewed here. This is a, just a rough estimate. But that tells us we need at least 200 people to hit this page in order to get one sale. Now, you can either do two things here, and this is what most people do. They double down on the marketing. They say, all right, I just have to do better on the YouTube channel. But you haven't perfected the funnel. That's the beauty of using an application funnel. Because this opt-in page we can get to, let's say, 10%. All we did was double it. Maybe we change the headlines, we change the graphics, we optimize it a little bit better. And now, if we simulate and the numbers run through, we almost tripled it, right? So instead of just under $1,000, we almost made $3,000. Let's do it again. So instead of 10, what most of my pages convert af after about three months is 25 percent now you're very close to your 10k mark if you have one most people have a 10k a month type goal and that is without fixing anything else you're not changing your sales techniques in your sales calls or your sales presentation you're not doing more to get more traffic onto your page you're just relying on the same traffic month after month right if you then boost with 
ads, let's say Facebook ads, we have 200 monthly view visitors and it's $5 per click and I put that in there, check this out. And this is calculating the cost of the ads here. You're doubling it again and you're still profitable without having to test it with money. That's what most people do. They test it with money with their ads. We don't want to do that. We want to know that it works before we start using ads. So you have your traffic, you drive them to a page that you've perfected, you know it converts at a certain percentage, and we have to do the math on that. You know how many people are going to fill out the application page, how many people you need to email market and get back to the application page. You know how many people are going to actually meet with you who were semi-serious and they filled out the application page, but maybe they went and did something else. But you know the numbers here. If you know the numbers, you can control the numbers, you can measure them, you can then improve them. And maybe you just change your price. You go from $1,000 to $2,500, and then you don't need 400 people hitting that page. You only need 100 people hitting that page, right? So there's a lot of things we can tweak and move around. That's the beauty of the application funnel. That's why I love them so much. This is the magic behind an application funnel. If you want me to build out all of this for you and be with you month after month, optimizing it and making it better and better and better, then let me know, reach out to me. For the entire month, I'm doing them free. These first three pages, the opt-in page, the application page, and the thank you page, I'm doing them for free. All you need to do is raise your hand and say, yes, I want to do it. All right, if you want more information, uh, you can reach out to me. If you want the client adventure map, which is available in the links in my bio, this explains all of these different maps. There's a whole bunch of them uh, and different severities, different uh, complexities, if you will but also breaking them down into easy to understand format. So if you're trying to learn about funnels, you want to start implementing them, but you don't want someone to build it out for you, then you can go download my free PDF, the client adventure map with the link in the bio. Thank you guys for tuning in for day four. Tune in tomorrow for day five. I'll see you there.